Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Simtech Zero Five. This playlist is especially for Abacus beginners. Here I am trying to discuss each and every perspective from the basics only. Like at the beginning, I talked about part modeling and massing in these three video. Then I discussed about effect of massing on the analysis accuracy i also gone through few videos in which advanced massing is shown then why we need massing yes obviously we are doing lots of massing always but why we need such massing in fem or fe technically if someone want to know further then how element safe function and rest and mass refinement work and after that i talked about the finite element analysis and ca later on i discussed about type of part modeling in abacus so as we know type of parts as we know massing so we can go to define the material properties and so on but before that i have few tips in the part modeling that i want to share in today's video okay new users always face very difficulty to make a design and assemble them especially lots of ce software not provide such great options in sketching and assembling but as we know abacus is the part of dassault system and dassault system also own katia and solidrex two great cat softwares so lots of flexibility also available in abacus also very similar to the katia so let's assume you want to make a assembly of plate and with two bolts so you may have proper dimensions for that and you can go with the multiple ways okay but let's assume you are trying to make it for tutorial practice of course you can right click on the part modeling and go with the import options and here you have lots of options like if you have igs file you can call the igs file if you have step file then you can call using step file katia and solidworks file nx pro file means unigraphics file and pro e file you can call directly okay so we are not going to import here we are just going to create a assembly of plate so let's say this is plate assembly okay so you may think a typical method going to create first plate then bolt and so on but many time as i told you for practice point of view may we miss the dimensions okay so what practice i follow i try to make the plates in the same part modeling let's say these are my two plate one is smaller size one is larger size then click on okay and that may be 20 oh this 20 is smaller let's increase 80 yes it is fine these two plate i have and then i have hole on the plate if i create hole individually then you may have uh, alignment issue as we making a practice model go to the extrude options select the sketch of course the proper dimensions if you have no need to worry but i am telling this all for the new user okay so go with the wireframe mode and see this common area let's say this is my first circle and this is my second circle this circle is nothing but our hole define the parameters go to the parameters may be 80 similarly here this be 18 and the dimension may be it is more than sufficient even lesser than it go to the added dimension 6 add dimension again and here also 6 Go with adding other dimensions like this distance already we defined and distance from the 
this age may be 50. Now it is fully constrained. Similarly, we can define dimension here 50. That's fine. So this is my circle and I want to make hole throughout. So just click on OK. So this hole will be created and now the same dimensions bolt I want to create. So again going to sketch but instead of extrusion I am going to create a solid part and this plane. But make sure do not create geometry, extrude geometry on the existing geometry otherwise they will merge. Okay. Why I am not want to merge? because these are separate parts, these are not a common parts. Later we will make them separate. Initially we are trying to create everything in the single part and later we will make them individual part. Same this is my second bolt. Let's say 6 and Depth might be 20. Click on it. So, this is my four. So, now you have basically one, two, three, and four part, but they are not look like four part, they are in the single part. You can see here plate assembly. Okay, so this is my assembly, and I am going to copy this assembly. Just right click, copy, and here you have an option separate disconnected region. If these regions are connected to each other, software unable to detect them as an individual part. But if those are not connected, those are not merged, then software able to make an individual part out of them. So let's say name part. Okay. So it will be automatically renamed part one, part two, part three, and so on. Now you have four parts here. Okay. Four perfect parts here. And if you make uh, assembly of these four part, these four part, very easily you able to judge the dimensions in the part modeling, and the same dimensions you are able to achieve in the assembly. This is literally very helpful. Let's say you have one beam example with steel bars. Okay, so let's say this is my beam assembly. Whole assembly I am going to create, and later I can make them individual. So just go to the 3D part and let's say this is my beam. Okay, this is my beam. Just assume I'm not going to define dimensions now. Let's say this is my or I can define dimensions. So it will looks good. So zero and this is my center axis fix. You already know these options, okay? Center axis I created, then I can go with the symmetry. This is my symmetry line. These two lines are symmetry. These two lines are symmetry. That's fine. Now go to define few of the dimensions. Let's say this is not this one. This is 60. This is Hundred. It's this type of beam you have, and now you want to define the internal steel bars, but you don't know the exact position, which position you feel good for the practice purpose. Okay, so what we can do within the same part, you can create a new feature. Let's say this is your wire feature you want to generate. So, you can go with this options, create a planar wire, select plane, select the edge, then you can define, let's say, this will be your, this will be your steel bar. But this not look like correct for you. And what you can do, you can go with the another wire. Let's say from here to here. Okay. And the dimensions. Let's say 
dimensions of four four similarly other wires let's say one wire from center to center and this wire you want to make a copy means exact reflection actually so you can go with this options press and hold and here we have mirror options so you want to copy the original pick a mirror line and then this is my entity that we want to copy and keep on then okay and one more wire you want here somewhere here okay. so this type of feature geometric feature you want as well as this must not be intersect so what i'm going to do i'm going to define a center line or i can simply define a line likewise then i can make a cut let's say this i don't want and probably this also unnecessary cut I'm sorry, I, I have to make them translate. Let's say because these these wires should not be overlap with the existing geometry, otherwise software will consider them as a single part. Okay. So let me move them. I'm going to translate, copy. You can select these features that you want to copy from here to somewhere in the right direction that's fine this is my features and remaining everything i don't want so make them a construction line using this feature okay so this will be construction line just go with the regenerate and here we have few wires and one beam so let's say this was the beam assembly and make a copy and say beam okay so it will automatically create beam one beam two and likewise the part make sure you check on this option separate disconnected region into a part and now you can see here you have oh sorry here you have beam then these few green steel bars and if you want to make them assemble it will be very handy okay let's say beam assembly not beam assembly beam into beam 5 this all part you want to call as offset or i can offset manually okay and let me suppress this part just for not from here from the assembly just for better understanding better so you can see a perfect steel wire exactly having same shape that we want in general what we face actually means what problem we face actually this wire length and size may not as per the beam and column uh, for the practice point of view so that's why this method i always recommend to you if you are a beginner so let's move them from here to here here okay then go to the standard direction and you can then shift them in top direction Okay, this all but I don't want to select this now it's okay so instead of assembly default go with the part so as per part the color will be visible you can make a copy of them you can keep them inside let's say these all and then deselect the actual beam only the wire I want to select in the z direction flip by value of one 
So now you can go with the top view and they are inside the concrete slab. Okay. So go with the wireframe mode and now you can make a copy of them. So how to make a copy? Just go with the linear pattern, select the instance. This instance I don't want to select, so control and drag, then make a copy along this direction opposite and value so be 5 or maybe 6 and 3 4 copies I want now click on ok so now your assembly is prepared so these are few tricks to make all parts in a single feature first like we, we generated all parts in a single feature as a single feature but those are the separated feature okay and then by right click and copy right click and copy and using this option separate disconnected region you able to separate them actually so this feature is very important very tricky feature few more important options we have uh, they may not useful always but if you want to find out the mid surface and you want to make some geometry cleanup then these features are really very important that's all for today's video a few tricks for beginners so thank you for listening that's all for today's video if you want to join us on facebook telegram then link is available in the description you are most welcome to join if you have any doubt you can post comment or you can ask to me thank you again